Uh, we've just had the introduction of the Paradise City Rollers. This is going to be their inaugural bout, and we are welcoming the Northern Brisbane Rollers to the track as we speak. So I'll um, shut up so that you can hear the in-house announcers. Johnny Pistol. Johnny Pistol, the voice of the Northern Brisbane Rollers. Yeah, Johnny Pistol does have one of the best voices around for this sort of thing. I still need to grow a set. It's not happening anytime <laughs> soon. Sorry to disappoint. Hey, have we introduced ourselves, Johnny? No, not as of yet. Dude, how professional are we? I am, of course, uh, Johnny Smash from Gold Coast Roller Derby. Legendary Johnny Smash. He's been doing this about as long as anyone in Brisbane has. In Queensland, sorry, Gold Coast. Just south of the Bris Vegas. And I'm Sweet Fanny Adams. Hello, Sweet Fanny Adams. Hey, Johnny. We promise people we get more professional as the game goes on. So that is our Northern Brisbane Rollers team. This is the Brawl Stars. Bring it out. This is the A-grade team for the Northern Brisbane Rollers being benched there by Raspberry Bullet in the lovely stripy Sergeant Pepper style jacket. Refs have done safety checks, so they're going to be getting straight into this game in just a couple of seconds' time. Yeah, um, no mucking about. We're going to get straight into this. I'm interested, actually, to see Annabelle Lecter back out on the track there, number eight. She's uh, leaning over, talking to her jammer at the moment. Now you see her shaping up on the line. She's been doing a bit of coaching, a bit of benching recently, so it's been a little while since I've seen her out playing, and I'm very happy to see her on the track again. Straight away, it looks like we've got a uh, raw shark talking to the captains. Ah, uh, both teams love Sharky. Uh, head so, or a referee out there, head ref for this bout. So, we can have a look at some of the other refs. We've got number cruncher from the Sun State Roller Girls, and there's Rubik's Krug joining her in the center of the track, also from Sun State. Black Tooth Grinner on the far side from Northern Brisbane Rollins. Also, we've got on the outside of the track, there's HP Shovecraft in the shiny black helmet on the right of your screen. The most stylish referee in oh, the game of roller derby. He has got one of the sexiest lead jammer layback calls I've ever seen. In the uh, matte black there is Craig from Brisbane City Rollers. Not a particularly, particularly derby type name, Craig. Craig. If that, in fact, is his real name. Dude. That might be his derby name. Yeah. Pretty sure that's his ref name. He has another name, but we don't mention it while he's wearing the stripes. And I believe they're joined on the outside by Refugius. He's also Sun State. So we've got a good mix out there from the um, local leagues. Always nice to see. Yes, yeah, a big hello and thank you to our referees and non-scaling officials as always. Here we go. First whistle. We're going to get this game underway. Looks like we've got a little G unit jamming for the Northern Bruce and Rollers and Death Angel 113. From Paradise City. Oh, and there's a nice bit of jammer on jammer action. These are some serious scrum pack starts there. That's what you call a tight pack coming around that first bend. That is amazing. G unit being knocked down before that first corner. Death Angel is heading to the sin bin. Oh. On the very first jam. No, I missed the call there, Johnny. Did you see what you were sent for? Was that a back block or was that a cut? No, I missed that one too. Sorry. Damn it. We've got this bar right in front of us. I know, because I screwed up and didn't bring my <laughs> mic cord. I'm now on a short leash. Five points. That so we're G sitting unit. in a very bad spot to see all of this. Yeah. But look at G-Unit go. I love the way this lady skates. Great style on her. Nicely done. Raspberry Bullet on the sideline, just pumping those fists. Yeah, you know, that's the. Uh, I believe that's their the signal single. for fight, 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 fight. In the good way, people, not in the bad. Go and sit in the bin for a while. Fight. This is turning out to be a big jam in the first uh, first jam for the North Bend Rollers. All right, and who we've got Pixie Block Stockings, and that's Rattlin' Bones out there. We have a lot of blockers heading to the sin bin for the uh, Paradise City team. That's not a good start. 
Very hard to win a game from the bin. You kind of need to be on the track. It looks like it's oh, box and, having uh, a nice little hit yeah. on G unit there. I, I actually call that a win. If you can manage to get in G unit's way, make her change her path oh, and lay God. a bit of a hit in on her at the same time, you're doing pretty damn well. As you can see, Death Angel is back on track. Oh, she's got to deal with Christy Demons though. Head into the and she has cut track. Death Angel is not off to a good start. We have been seeing a hell of a lot more cut tracks this year, obviously, with the change to the rule set back in yep. January. So that is really showing a lot of our skaters the training it hasn't picked up to get a quick enough reaction to stop yourself cutting that one player. That has been a 30-point jam for the first jam. That's a bit of a nice start to your evening. Just warming up. If you're a brawl star, I wouldn't complain. Oh, wow. We've also had some of the Brawl Stars head off to the bin because we've only got two blockers on track. Mind you, that's quite a nice two blockers to send out. Christy Demons, um, one of my personal faves. She's been playing this game for quite some time. Yeah, oh. a tough jammer to hold back. She's a hell of a tough jammer, and when you throw her in the pack, she brings all that agility to her blocking as well. And look at her go. She is trying desperately to hold up Toe Cutter there. Toe Cutter has got amazing fight on her. She's given up and gone to block the jammer, but Trauma Junkie wiggling her way past. Five points. Nice work by Trauma Junkie there. That was not an easy pass, though, even with only two blockers to get past. They were covering that track beautifully. Trauma Junkie, thankfully, though, she's a very agile skater, was able to wiggle, hop, and jump her way through, and she does it again. Another five points there for the Brawl Stars. Not good for the Paradise City Girls. Still two, only two blockers on track. Oh, I know. All the Brisbane Rollers want these points. They're starting off at a furious pace. Where's that? Oh, pack? Annabelle Lecter. She was in the bin. Naughty woman. Maybe that's why she hasn't been playing so much lately. I don't know. I could just be making stuff up. <laughs> Meanwhile, five more points to Northern Britain Rollers and the Brawl Stars. Yeah, Trauma Junkie. Picking up where little G unit left off. It's coming down to the packs now because we've got more blackers back on track. There's Death Angel is back in the track. Let's see if oh. she can make it through. I'd like an initial pass from Death Angel. Nice block in the front of the pack by Toka. Oh, Annabelle Lecter almost drawing a stop block there. Sarsaparilla for the uh, Paradise City off to the bin. I am already wondering, Johnny, if we're going to see some foul outs in this game because <laughs> this is... A penalty-heavy start. They're getting racked up, and that's a 20-point uh, jam for the oh, second jam. Very nice. Zip. Very nice there. Yeah, we're only five minutes into this uh, bout, and it's a, a big score. Sorry, I'd say... Uh, What's that, two jams? 19-point jam. Two, two jam jams. Two jams. Two jams. How many asses in that bin? <laughs> it's insane. Yeah, they're in a hurry to score these points, Northern Brisbane. Yeah. Rollers. Oh, we got Slaggity Ann stepping up to jam for NBR against Alice Affliction. I have very fond memories of being lift off my feet by uh, our, one of Alice Affliction's can openers. The famous Alice Affliction can opener. She's a little bit awesome. Oh, Slaggity Ann's doing some great work pushing her way through at the front there, but she is being held up. Nice block. That is Goldie Scorn. Nice positional block, but she's heading to the sin bin, unfortunately. That's going to be an out of play, unfortunately. That's the initial pass for Slaggy Ann. Oh, Alice Affliction has been held up. She is not through yet. Long Lash Massacre. She's just passed O'Helner. She's got Iron Thighs. Ducks around the outside of her. Brawl Stars are trying to waterfall. Fast moving pack. Slaggy Ann is just approaching on her scoring pass. Yeah, Northern Brisbane Rollers aren't short on fast jammers. Nice little block. Oh, there. beautiful block by Rattlin Bones Rattlin there. Bones. I get a little bit confused with Rattlin Bones and uh, I think it's Guns N' Roses. you got 1-1-1 one, so one, one and 1-1. One, one. Mm. That should be. Oh, no, that was three points there for the Brawl Stars. I thought that was only two. Three it took Slaggity out about a lap to score those three points yeah. too. These are quick, quick packs. 
I wonder how long this pace is going to keep up, though. Who do we have? We have, once again, Little G Unit and... Uh, Death, Death Angel. Angel. Now, Death Angel, if I'm not mistaken, now has something to prove. She's going to the bin twice while wearing that jammer panty. It's not somewhere any jammer wants to be. She's determined to get past the... Oh, uh, Christy Demons! Nice blocking. She is a demon! She's a demon on wheels! Well done, Christy Demons. Oh... Little G unit also being held up at the back of the pack with some nice blocking. Not for long though, straight through. She's Here we through go. Through. She is not lead jammer though. No, Death Angel managed to just take out lead before Christy Demons knocked her to the ground and she was eaten by the pack again. Tactically calls that one off. We quickly mentioned this uh, earlier, but this is the officially the first bout for Paradise City. Mm. Now you were telling me that they have been scrimming locally? Yeah, I'm um, up on the Sunshine Coast and uh, Tweed Heads take on some of the Tweed Girls, but um, this is, yeah, officially Excellent. their okay. first ever bout. Great. Well, they just, um, they only formed, what, two, three months ago? Yeah, real recently. Yep. Though they are some very experienced skaters, they've come from other leagues, so there is a lot of uh, bout experience on the track there for Paradise City, but this is their first game as a league. Yeah, the majority of these players um, competed at the last drop of carnage for the Gold Coast team, come mm -hmm. third. So that just gives you an That's idea true. of where yeah. they're at. Yeah. And of course, the Northern Brisbane Rollers. Oh, that was affliction. I thought she had them there. That was a beautiful twizzle to try to get past. She's being held up by Massacre and Iron Thighs. Gets a bit of help from Rattling Bones to make a gap, but this is a mess and a half. That's I'm not cover. sure if these are packs or if these are battles, people. <laughs> there goes Trauma Junkie. Was that two laps to get through the pack? It seemed like it. I think it was. That's insane. Once again, not a lead jammer. We have no lead jammer. Both of our jammers have committed infractions that have barred them from getting lead jammer. This is a two-minute jam. And the pace and the hits that are going on... And here we go. There's going to be a penalty. I saw the referee call it, and as soon as he echoed the whistle, he realised he had done the wrong thing. There was no lead jammer. There could be no jammer call off. We have an official timeout. Our head referee calling that one. We hate this one. I know the refs hate this one too. It's their screw up. But the play has to go to the bin. There comes Rorschach. It's, it's been communicated. Yeah, it looks like Royal Shark's breaking the bad news. Yeah. There's no easy way of uh, telling him. No. No, there is no easy way to tell that one. But it is down to it. If you are not the lead jammer, you should know better than to tap your own hips. Not good for the Northern Brisbane Rolls, but we're going to kick this next jam off as All a right. power jam. Yeah. For the Paradise City. Paradise City are, gonna, are going to want to try to change the momentum of the game here. This is a, a good opportunity for them. Paul Stars are out to a very strong early lead, 52 points, mind you. They scored most of those points in the first two jams, so Paradise City have come back very strong to hold them back. Yeah, the Northern Brisbane Rolls straight away shell-shocked the uh, mm. Paradise City girls, and, and it looks like they're, everything's calming down, so to speak. A Paradise City power jam. Mm. Now we want to see what is going to be the tactic they have tried. Paradise City have tried the split pack tactic. Hasn't worked. Death Angel having all sorts of trouble on the back of Christy Demons until Christy has to let her through. All right, now we have a chance for Paradise City to get some points on the board. See the blockers for the uh, Paradise City team slowing it right down. Very, very nice control of pack speed there. I did notice that Paradise City earlier during the Northern Brisbane Rollers power jams was actually keeping the pack speed quite fast. Now, I am not sure if the slow pack speed is actually going to work against Death Angel here. Some jammers do need a little bit more momentum to get yeah. through. And when you have people like Christy Demons and Beth Adder and Annabelle Lecter to hit you about in that pack... It all makes a difference. Yeah, the Northern Brisbane Rollers still got some great blockers on their team. All right, but I do believe we have some points on the board for Paradise City. Three points. All right, they've broken the seal. Can they keep this momentum? All right. 
I don't know how many NBR games that you have seen this season, Johnny, but I am noticing a very different game at this point in time, and I think it's got to be due to the level of the players' abilities that we're seeing here. Yeah. NBR have really been working the back of the pack beautifully, the knockout, the yield back. Yeah. They have been hammering that, and they have been absolutely destroying opposition with that one this season. They're a well-drilled team, definitely a well-drilled team. Yeah. I'm not seeing a lot of that play happening here. They're not being given the opportunities. The Paradise City Girls, their recovery, their ability to jump back in before the yield is made, is obviously making that tactic less effective. And you possibly just saw Alice Affliction demonstrating some of that right there. Yeah. She was taken out, immediately switched back, jumped back in, only have to get your hips behind the person who hit you out. Yeah. Long Lash Massacre looked a little bit yeah. surprised to be hit yeah. so quickly by uh, the player she just knocked out. She's a very talented scatter, Alice Affliction, yeah. as everyone would know. Yeah. She's one of those girls who pisses me off. <laughs> I, don't, I still don't know, because I haven't travelled enough, if this is just an Australian thing, but in Australia, if a chick hates another chick, it's because we're jealous, because they're really good at something. So it's a compliment. She's one of those girls who gets around the track and just makes it look, you know, looks like she's uh, almost falling asleep on her skates. I know. Uh, so relaxed the way she gets Yeah. Seriously, lifted me off both feet with a can opener. Oh, look at that. Death ain't almost through. Got knocked down, oh. unfortunately. There goes Krusty Demons. Now we get to see the demon blocker jamming. Never heard a bad word out of this woman either. I like her a hell of a lot. I don't have a lot of derby crushes, but she's definitely one. Look at that. Getting through the pack way too easy, scoring five points. I really hope Video Bob's camera picked up there, the little wiggle of the hips. It was just a slight step to make herself a narrow enough wiggle. to slide through that tiny, tiny gap. Once again, defensively, the Northern Brisbane Rollers keeping Death Angel. She hasn't made her initial pass yet. Five more points, however, to the Northern Brisbane Rollers and the Brawl Stars. Oh. Ooh. Not good for the... Uh, Paradise City girls. Here we go. Now we're seeing the yielding to the back of the pack thing. I have seen jams where they're just doing this. Hit you back. Hit you back. Hit yep. you back. That's the first one I've seen in this game. Meanwhile, Christy Demons just stepping through and over whoever the hell she needs to. There's Iron Thighs giving Death Angel a little oh. bit of a sleigh ride. Here comes Iron Thighs back straight onto her. Big hit, uh, something out of bounds. Uh, Oh, there's Guns N' Rosie trying to stick to Iron Thighs. Iron Thighs is a jammer's worst nightmare. Oh, now she's walling up to take care of the uh, opposition jammer, Chrissy Demons, which means Death Angel is left to try to deal with all those NBR blockers by herself. Five more points, and she calls that one off. That is jam over, another big jam for yeah. the NBR team. Not even halfway through this first half. The, the Brawl Stars on 83 points. Very, Paradise very City, nice. Five points. I'm really looking forward to Tropicarnage this year. I'll tell you what, I always look forward to Tropicarnage. Oh, it's, it's hard not to. It goes a little bit more tropo each year. <laughs> especially the uh, commentary area. Oh, yeah, because we do rock. Sometimes oh, in let's corners. Face, let's face it. But yes, it was so close. The final last year between Sun State and Northern Brisbane was insane close. And it looks to me from just how tight this team is playing. Their blockers are awesome. The pack work that they are doing, the water falling, the reheating the baby, um, everything that they're doing, yielding to the back of the pack. This is... It kind of makes me want to squeal. <laughs> squeal away. Feel free to squeal. <laughs> I kind of can't at the moment. I'm getting over a flu, which is nice because it means my lower range is sexy. Well, the Brawl Stars took on the um, the A team from the Sun State Roller Girls. Yeah. I guess a couple of months in this particular venue, and people Ooh. are still raving about it being uh -huh. like, uh, the best bouts ever yeah. in Australia. It was a little bit exciting. Come down to the very last a jam, uh -huh. the second half of the very last jam. That's how it was at Tropic Garnage too. It was a nail biter. 
All right, who have we got? Alice Affliction and Trauma Junkie on the line. Jabbing for their respective teams with Hell No, Beth Adder. Is that Massacre? Cannot see. 76. Ah, oh, Brittle Deluxe. Now yeah, blockers, Trauma Junkie having fun. Oh, Alice Affliction, but there's Trauma Junkie hot on her heels. Yeah, Alice Affliction's got speed. Trauma Junkie is not going to kill her an inch, though. Let's see if Alice goes for the points. Do the hit, do the hit. Can't open, can't open, can't open. Damn it. <laughs> Pulls that one off. I love a bit of jammer on jammer action, and Alice Affliction is one of those jammers who can deliver an insane hit. Obviously was not feeling comfortable taking the hit, because we know with hits come risk. And I'm sure if we mentioned earlier too, um, Ollie is the coach for the uh, Paradise City Girls. Oh. And they're Go, being bench managed by Velociraptor. Velociraptor is from SCAR, the Sunshine Coast area rollers. Yep, she's, uh, she's a relatively bench. new player. She's loving this game, and she's obviously getting very into the technical side of it, and uh, getting herself on the bench is a great idea. Oh, unfortunately for the Paradise City Girls, that is a major penalty to heading to the sin bin. Oh, Ram Jam. Now, Ram Jam kind of used to be a teammate of a lot of the ladies in Paradise City when they were all together at uh, Gold Coast. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Ram Jam. The way I'd she plays love to be. She's yeah. another cool girl. She's another classy player. I've never seen her lose her shit on the track. She's a classy, classy woman. And she goes oh, the look at that beautiful defense. Annabelle Lecter felt the need to come up and help her jammer out. Now they've potentially got to go here in uh, toe cutter. Can they hold her? The toe cutter. She's got fight. She's keeping things moving. Is she going to keep the fight or is she going to try to mess up the jam? Oh, look at that. She sits on Ram Jam for half a second. Ram Jam don't care. Ram Jam goes all honey badger on that action. Iron Thighs heading to the sin bin. Five more points for the Northern Brisbane Rollers, however. Another big jam. Oh, nice hit out there by... Oh, oh, damn it. Cut track by toe cutter. Big hit, Death Angel. The new cut track rules really do demand that the skaters become much, much better. Part of your wheels goes out. You need to be able to stop or take a knee. Just so quick these days. Ram jam. Oh, off, is it? Bless her cotton socks. Big shout out to Video Bob, who made a trek back to his house to grab some more leads. He's the reason you can hear us. I right know. Now. He's the man. He came back in panting. He'd run from the car park. I was getting a little bit worried, but he's. Techie he shouldn't have man. to run, man. He was a man on a mission. He's not going to let the fans down. We love the Video Bob. He's bringing the derby to the world. Oh, look at Massacre giving affliction the sleigh ride. Refugius gives Massacre the out of play warning. She's taking herself to the bin now. I don't know if his arm dropped. But I wasn't watching the infield, so I don't know. Maybe she was sent by someone inside the track. Alice Affliction given Christy Demons a little hug. Well, here comes G Unit on her scoring pass. All right, G's taking the four, but she's not calling it off. She's looking to the bench. The Brawl Stars on 101 points. Paradise City on five points. A massive first half for the Brisbane, for the Northern Brisbane Rollers. They have just been going from strength to strength in the last 12 months, so I am not surprised at all. Every time I see them play, it looks like every time they step up a class defensively, attackingly, the jammers get better and better. So many jammers for the Northern Brisbane Rollers. Well done, Goldie Scorn. Yeah, Goldie Scorn. Trauma Junkie doing well to keep the inside line through the pack. Not only Jammer, though. No! 
Goldie Ooh. Scorn has cut track. Did she get points before she cut? Good question. Come on, number cruncher. Yeah, not what Paradox did. Did she get any points before she cut? Damn it. Raspberry Bullet's got the fists to pumping. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh get damn, out of the Angel. Angel. Oh, NBR doing beautiful work to get in amongst all the Paradise City girls, distract yeah. them, split them up so they cannot form a cohesive defence. So trying hard to get that wall together and just getting split up by that uh, the Northern Brisbane blockers. There is a hell of an art to figuring out how to get away from someone who is trying to hammer you as their jammer is approaching. Oh, here come penalties. We've got a uh, multiplayer block being given to Beth Adder there. I believe Beth Adder is the captain of the Brawls. Oh, check you out, Trauma Junkie. Cut track major. Even I saw that one, people. Nice block by Rattlin Bones. I love Rattlin Bones. She has not been playing this game very long at all, but boy, howdy, she has picked it up quick. Here's Gandhi Scorn back from the bin, hitting her way through. Oh, now she's dealing with Massacre. Oh, Lashy. Well done, Gordy Five points. Beautiful work there by Goldie Scorn. That was quite a classy pass. She had to hit her way through here and there. She's got to be feeling good about those points. Down to nine more minutes left in this first half. Shut up. God damn, what does the time go, man? We must be having fun. All right. Alice Affliction coming up. Now, I want to see the tactics play out here because if you buy into this game and take the speed to the NBR girls, they are just going to waterfall and hurt your jammer. Iron Thighs once again sending Alice Affliction into the centre of the track. Yep, yards are back and then just waterfalls forward. But there's Rattlin Bones trying to keep Thighs away. And she does. Alice Affliction is through. This is still a power jam. Both teams still with one blocker in the sin bin. Uh, here comes Beth Adda returning to track, but Rorschach is sending... Oh, no! Rattling Bones sent to the bin. That was a beautiful hit by Ohelno. If only Helno had stayed on the track. Oh, there's Trauma Junkie back on track. Now she's having a fun time riding on the backside of... Now, who is that? Is that Toe Cutter? I believe it is. Yeah, that's Toe Cutter. That's Toe Cutter. Oh, Guns and Rosie. Trailering off Death Angel there. Trauma Junkie finally through for an initial. Affliction doing the pirouette to take her last point there before she calls it off. Paradise City up to 15 points. The Brawl Stars still on 120 points. Just over seven minutes left before half time. I gotta say, I really don't care if the points are a washout. I'm having oh, so much fun watching what's happening on this track. Yeah, it's great to see the Northern Brisbane Rollers once again. It's good to see the uh, Paradise City up and rolling in their first bout. Hell yeah. I think it's a great way to start too. They may not do well on points, but if you look at the gameplay, yeah. you are seeing a hell of a lot of fight. And really, there is no shame in being beaten by anyone this good. Oh, they go slaggity in on her first point scoring pass, and she has taken the uh, jammer point. Goldie Scorn currently caught up behind Popular Pain, and uh, is that Massacre? Of course it is. Oh, slaggity in through again. Five more points of slaggity in. She's deceptively fast. Slaggity in gets through the pack. Rather easily. 
a lot of the time. Yeah. It's interesting. A lot of the girls in NBA have come up as um, much more athletic than I thought they would be. I do wonder how much of that is down to Evil PT there. Strangely enough, Evil PT. Well, he's working those girls out pretty hard it before this battle really starting. I was sweating it, just watching it. Uh -huh. I pulled a muscle or two. <laughs> I'm going to leave that alone, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah. Who do we have? We have, once again, Alice Affliction jamming for the Paradise Center. Oh, oh, who's that? Graham Jam. Graham Jam. Oh, my God. Yeah, Ram Jam, Lee Jam. Uh, Alice Affliction through the pack for the initial pass. Ram Jam wants these points. Oh, look at Ram Jam go. Beautiful split leg pass. Takes the inside. She can't track. There must have just been a touch of wheel on the inside line. Yeah, I'm lucky to get pulled up with that. Nice blocking by Iron Thighs to uh, get it through initially, but yep. just crossing that line. Oh, Iron Thighs was owning that inside line, so Ram Jam was just able to grab a hip and jump over, but obviously something went wrong with the uh, wheels on that line. Must have been just a toe stop in it. All right. Oh. Ah, Death Angel trying to keep Chrissy. Chrissy Neiman's gone for a low block. That can only work in Paradise City's favor. Five more points to PCRD. I'm not going to say that Chrissy Neiman's is the best player on the team because I am clearly biased. But they've got a hell of a lot of good players on the team. However, if you can only take out one, I want to be taking out the Demon. Yeah, I like the way she plays. Yeah. Oh! Mind you, Beth Adder, she's not doing so bad herself there. That was rather lovely. Beth Adder is El Capitan. Oh, uh, have no. they noticed? No, no one picked up. Ram Jam back on the pack. Straight through. Thank you, little boss. She cheeky. That's because they're in the black. They be the ninjas. The captain for Paradise City heading to the sin bin, Alice Affliction. A brawl star power jam. Uh, I've got to say, unless it's a black and white scream, I don't like to be wearing white. Black is your uber ninja color. Yeah, black's cool. I'm uh, down with black. Uh, not that we're prejudiced against the white. It's just less flattering. And it's nowhere near as ninja. Yeah, not a stealth. Oh, crap! They see me coming when I'm wearing white. Three minutes! Three minutes left! Oh my god! Here we have Trauma Junkie jamming up for the Northern Brisbane Rock. Oh, Rangers. Trauma Junkie. Lee Jammer. God love you. Oh my god! Goldie Scorn is the lone Paradise City skater out there. She's keeping this pack moving. Look at this pack move, actually. Holy crap, she's doing a good job. It's a very long, strung out pack. Who's that pack? There it is. Oh, they're going to try to form pack on Guns and Rosie. Not so easy. Oh, now I would have called that a low block because that was a wheel clip. That was a very definite push against. It wasn't deliberate, but it was a definite push against Guns and Rosie's wheels there. Five more points to North Oh, All right. NBR have finally drawn this thing to a standstill only to get Guns and Rosie. Which direction are you going, Guns and Rosie? Oh, that'd be the wrong one. Damn it. I was thinking earlier who would have come up with the name Paradise City Roller Girls. I think Guns N' Roses yeah, has to be on the short list of... Uh, yeah, I think there could be a connection. <laughs> I do sort of like the way, too, that the logo looks kind of like a tiara. <laughs> could just be me. I'm getting over a flu. I'm lightly medicated. <laughs> I can definitely see it. Oh, Alice Affliction. Alice Affliction with those pink wheels. Ah, oh, see, that's the problem. Oh, oh, she totally cut track. There you go. Thank you, number cruncher. Backing me up on my call. Because you can hear me. We're keeping an eye on the penalty box of Sinbin. The right. trauma junkie to come back on track. 
There she is. That is jam over. Down to the last 60 seconds of this first half. Brawl Stars v PCRD. You don't want to hear me anymore, do big you? Big hello to anyone who's uh, watching this, checking us out on DNN. A big hello from oh. myself, Johnny Smash, and lovely uh, sweet Fanny Adams. Love the DNN, bringing the derby to the world. I hope you're enjoying what, you, what you're watching. Oh, I certainly am. Uh-huh. If you've just signed in for this one, think about subscribing to DNN. If you like Johnny and my work, subscribe to DNN. Tell them how much you love us. Request us for things. If you find us annoying, definitely subscribe. Yeah, we're Just available at weddings, bar mitzvahs. <laughs> Make a booking. Yeah. If you can't stand listening to us and you subscribe, then you can threaten them. Get rid of those two losers or we're pulling our subscriptions. Either way, subscribe to DNN. Just do it. You can always turn the volume down and destroy the vision. Oh, they could Hercules return it. You can subtitle that stuff yourself. Yeah. Holy crap. We've got our first official timeout. I'm slightly surprised. Given how penalty heavy this first half has been, I thought we would have an official timeout a lot and sooner. Non-stop roller derby action. That's because the zebras are on top of it. No one can question it. There's no point. They know what they're doing. I must quickly mention, I believe the uh, the Paradise City girls are heading down to Sydney. <gasps> really? Very soon, taking on the Assassins. <gasps> really? That true should story. be some fun. I saw it on Facebook. It's got to be true. Must be. Was it I in think colour? It's next week. It I was in colour. It's completely true. I might be wrong, but it might be next week. Oh, let's just make stuff up. Get on Facebook. Love Paradise City. Paradise Find City. out the facts. Yep. Don't listen to us. Yeah, Find out for yourself. On anything. I believe Paradise City, Girl, the Paradise City Girls also heading up to my favourite destination for all of One of my favourite. Not, not Radstone. 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 Taking on the girls from Mackay in a double header up there. Yeah, that's on the 17th. I'm so going to be there for that. That's going to be awesome. Totally awesome. Gladstone are a fantastic league. Big hello to the hustlers up there, up in uh, Gladstone. Harbour City hustlers. Oh, Slaggedy Ann and Death Angel facing off on the line. They're getting a bit cosy. Hey, elbow to elbow, saying, how you doing? Yeah, they ain't getting each other's space. Personally, I try to slipstream off Slaggedy Ann. I'm to, ah, here goes Death Angel, does Death Angel do it? Yes, Death Angel does. Can we have Slaggedy? Oh, oh. round of applause for Death Angel getting through that pack. Lead jammer. Cruel Ella to kill. Fortune is heading to the sin bin. She's got just enough of a lead, but I think NBR have realised that Slaggity does have slight speed advantage. If they can keep the pack moving, there's a good chance that Slaggity will catch up. And she has. Is she going to take more points than Death Angel? This is what we need to figure out. Has Death Angel noticed? Is she aware? we got two like points it. for Slaggity. Nice hit by Iron Thighs holding up uh, Death Angels. Oh. Here comes Slaggity. All right, I want to see the points come in. Four and two. All right. Ahead, Dead referee. end fans. It's half time. Get onto the NBR website. Put in your votes for what you want it to be called when the non-lead jammer gets more points than the lead jammer. Because oh. that's just round. That shit should not happen. It needs a word, it needs a name. Um, Come up with something good, we'll start using it. We'll be back in about 10, 15. Yeah, give or take 10, 15 minutes. Have a break, have a drink. Oh, it will seem almost instantaneous online. Hello, the interwebs. We are back. The refs have blown the rolling whistle to let us know the second half is about to start. And there... A Goldie Scorn and Little G unit. Little G. Poised, ready to go. And we've got a oh, slight pack advantage to NBR there. Death Angel, the only blocker on the track. Yeah, we've got a few scouts. Paradise City. Oh, Goldie Scorn. Oh, look at this. 
Goldie Scorn getting in a beautiful hit to knock G Unit out. G Unit not returning to track, not willing She's to be eaten the by the track pack. She has let Goldie Scorn go back and have herself eaten by the pack. Yeah, conserve a bit of energy. Goldie Scorn hadn't actually passed through the pack before she did that too, so um, G Unit still has an opportunity to become lead jammer here. Smart play, actually. Ah, oh, this is going to be what I like to think of as annoying derby at this point in time. We have played get the <coughs> past me derby for the last half. Now we're playing thinking man's derby. Yeah, the Northern Brisbane Rollers are in a hurry. They're 130 points ahead. Yeah, yeah. Not that it matters or anything, but yeah, yeah. no rush. True. The time is theirs to spend. Yeah. So... Oh, Goldie Scorn. We bit of jam on jammer actually. Having a bit of a hit at G Unit. Oh. How far is Goldie Scorn going to let this go? Because you've got to watch G Unit. Oh, G Unit gets a shoulder in. Goldie Scorn cuts track in a rather spectacular fashion. That was a nice block in the back of the pack. Power jam. Oh. G unit, you evil, evil girl. Well done. Northern Brisbane Rollers forming pack on Ratlin Bones until Bones breaks through. There you ah. go, the Paradise City Girl speeding it up. Walking that very fine line between speeding up and being out of play but they managed to stay in play and Guns and Rosie takes little G unit out in a very classy fashion both sets of blockers not wasting any time getting back on track oh here comes Ram Jam taking the power jam start for Northern Brisbane Oh, nice tight wall there by Paradise City. Some gaps are appearing. You do not want gaps with Ram Jam behind you because there she goes. Ram Jam getting around two cutter. Lead Jammer. Mm -hmm. Oh, Northern Brisbane forming pack on Molly Malicious in the back there. Molly Malicious keeping fighting, fighting, fighting. Ram Jam getting around Estela Vista. Oh. Jam alert, jam alert, nice little oh, track. Oh, no. That was a cut track by Ram Jam just at the end, but the jam was called off. Oh, lucky. Did you see who made the hit on that one? Who was that one? That was, uh... I, I didn't see who it was no. that <laughs> just knocked Ram Jam out right at the end of the whistle there, so she cut track as she spun. I got that vertical bar right in the way there. Yeah. Just painting a picture. We've got a few bars in front of us. Too. We're on the, uh... Well, we're sitting in an upstairs uh, area, and the uh, security rails are glass panels with metal bars at the top and occasionally in the middle. Yeah! All right, that was HP Shovecraft. I don't know if Video Bob caught that one, but HP Shovecraft, OPR, no reason, fell Give right over of, onto his back. Give me some of the Derby fans in suicide saving. Bit of a show, HP. Yeah. Oh, all right, we've gone a lap and a half. Alice Affliction has not broken through in a lap and a half, lap and three quarters. She's dealing with Popular Plane and Beth out of there. Slug at the end, comes up to assist. Comes on Rosie trying to break that wall up. There she, she goes. She gets it outside gap and she takes it. Now, can Paradise City call this to a stop? They're going to try to make pack on Annabelle Lecter. That's a pretty hard thing to try, but you've got to try it. They're having some success there. They've managed to take Annabelle out a couple of times, but no, Popular Pain takes Alice Affliction out. Ram Jam back on track. Have Paradise City noticed? Nope. Too, oh, almost too late, but there you go. Guns and Rosie taking Ram Jam out. Just quickly spotted Alice Affliction just pushing one of her blockers out of the way. Alice Affliction just has popular pain to get past. She is through for a five-point pass. Ram Jam still caught in the pack. 
This is her initial. All right, can Alice Affliction get another scoring pass or a part scoring pass before Ram Jam catches up? Brawl that stars, but they wall out front. Oh, they're doing a nice job of keeping the pace up. Alice Affliction is just behind. She's not in place to score points yet. She's got one. She curls it. Oh, Ram Jam doing a nice little apex jump at the end there, but too late to pick up any points. Here we, are. we have Iron Thighs lining up on oh, the jammer line. We have not seen Iron Thighs jam yet this game. She can game. do it all, yeah. Great she job. Can. Fantastic. Uh, I, I'm noticing a lot of the NBR girls are really all-rounders. I've seen Slaggity and jamming quite a bit, and I've seen her in the pack. Same with... Uh, well, Christy Demons has only jammed the one so far. She's been yeah. doing a lot more uh, work as a blocker. And here we got 1-1-3 for the Paradise City Girls, Death Angel. Ah, Death Angel and the Iron Thighs having a bit of a chat while they wait. We have our in-house uh, commentators, Johnny Pistol and KO, mm -hmm. doing shout-out after shout-out. Johnny Pistol loves good like shout-out. Back in the day when she wasn't on a microphone and she would run around doing, uh, getting the crowd to do the Mexican wave. If you've ever run around the outside of a derby track, that's, that's a little bit of distance. I used to call her Black Lightning. And she's grown up now, and she's downstairs commentating for the crowd. No, she's looking good, dressed up, looking <gasps> good. Slick as. Yeah. Definitely product in the hair. Looks uh, sensational. She is representing her league. She's clearly very proud to be associated with Paradise City. She's pulled out all the stops to make sure she is looking as classy off the track as they are looking classy on the track. There goes Iron Thighs. Iron Thighs is looking cruel. Taking that last hit past Corella to kill. While Death Angel is caught up on Christy Demons, who has won a fold. And there is Death Angel at the front of the pack. Caught up again on Christy Demons. Nice blocking out front. Christy Demons, she's everywhere nice you don't want her to be. Oh. Five Grand Slam points on to Iron Thighs. Damn you, Iron Thighs. I wanted you to keep going. Death Angel had not made her initial pass. That was a very tidy five points. Very tidy. Here we have once again little G unit from the Northern Brisbane Rollers and the captain to her left, Alice Affliction. Oh, oh crap. They're playing it old style, man. Old style? This is like the Atari of Derby. So I'm old enough to remember the old days. Where well, people started on the pivot line. Yeah. Oh, look at that, Alice Affliction getting a cranky on G Unit, taking Alice Affliction out. G trying to, yes, G Unit gets the pack to eat the baby. Well done, little G Unit. Oh, there's Massacre. Annabelle Lecter back on track. Oh, so Alice Affliction being like a shark. She's watching. She's not going to let G-Unit out. Oh, yeah. You hit me out, G-Unit. I'm going to hit you back. Doesn't wait long enough for the pack to eat the baby because there really isn't a pack. There's quite a fast-moving <laughs> pace line. Where's that pack at? How the hell are the jammers supposed to lap that thing? It's mm. going so fast. They are absolutely mad. Oh, Alice Affliction taking another swing at G-Unit. Cute idea, but now Alice Affliction is behind. A bunch of Northern Brisbane rollers. She's got Annabelle Lecter to deal with. She's got Hell No oh. coming in for a second go. Oh, Hell No. <laughs> hell No. There's a good reason she has that name, man. You see her coming for her, I'm pretty sure it's the first thing most people think. She's a feared blocker, oh, Hell No. Uh-huh. Meanwhile, that is a jam over. Hard to believe we're only nine or so minutes into this second what half. What the hell? I just sat down again, man. <laughs> How does this happen? We must be having a hell of a good time. I'm having a great time. 
Here we have once again the one and only Slaggity Ann lining up for the Northern Brisbane Rollers and Death Angel 113 for PCRD. Oh, kind of a skeleton pack going on. We've got Trauma Junkie and Christy Demons first off the line to take care of Death Angel. Slaggity Ann just tiptoeing around the inside. Mm. She's got iron thighs bridging her in. Slaggity Ann is past Guns N' Rosie. Guns N' Rosie and Toe Cutter now trying to help Death Angel through. Esla Vista rejoining them on the track. Here comes Slaggity Ann for her first point scoring pass. She gets a shoulder in and makes a bit of a gap. Oh. Iron thighs. Big hit once again on Death Angel. She just waits at the front of the pack waiting to hit someone. I can uh, see it. She loves it. She just lurks. All right. Some of the fight's been knocked out of Death Angel, so now she's hanging back, waiting for a chance to hit. Oh! 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 Nicely done. Rattle of bones. bones. Now, I would have sworn she was out of play. From here to there, it did look a bit... Uh, I was looking at the white marks on the floor, but I would need to see the replay. Ballsy move. Would you look at that? Slaggity Ann has stopped. She slowed down, but those legs have started moving again. Doesn't happen very often. No. No, it nice does not. Nice by the PCID girl. Oh. Esther La Vista. Take that, says Esther La Vista. This is turning into a brutal, brutal jam. Dead oh. Man. Turn around, acting defensively. Giving her a bit of the old hug. Until Chrissy Demons knocks it to the end. And she cuts. Iron Thighs quickly raced back before Death Angel realised. Nice work once again defensively, Iron Thighs. Uh -huh. Wow. Slaggity Ann has had the wind knocked out of her good and hard. She's called that off. She's bending over, trying to get the uh, oxygen back in her lungs. She's feeling it. I think she needs a hug from uh, Oh Eldo. Oh, look at that. She'll beat the crap out of you with her butt. <laughs> but she'll hug a teammate who's in some need. She'll just pummel you with oh. that uh, rear end of hers and just come Can up and show the love. It's a little bit like the Apache Indians. The more you respect your enemies, the worse you beat them. Someone heading to the sim. That is the pivot for the PCI. Oh! Alice Affliction. That's Alice Affliction, judging by the way she was skating with the shoulders yeah. down and the head shaking. That famous skating style. She's got a very distinctive skate style. There goes G-Unit. Oh, Goldie Scorn had given good chase. Takes a little while to get back to the pack, but now she's there with Pixie Block Stockings. And all the Brisbane girls doing really well to hold up uh, yeah, Tony Soprano. Oh, yeah. Now, I always like to see what does the GOAT do at this point? Do they disengage to try to break up the Jammers line? Tony Soprano did well to get to the front of the pack, and then all she of a sudden did. the Jammer was on the tail. Mm. Unfortunately, she's heading to the sin bin. I believe that was for cutting. Damn it. Little Juliana wants some more points. Oh, Death Angel back on track. Taken out to the inside by Hell No and Friend. In turn takes out a ref. Always, always a crowd favourite. Number Crunch are doing the old roll. It spins straight back up again. Mm -hmm. Five more points to Northern Brisbane Rollers. No blockers on track for the uh, Paradise City girl. She just waltzes through for five more points. All right, we've got Alice Affliction and Goldie Scorn in to block for Death Angel, who gets through that last Northern Brisbane blocker. That was the initial pass for Death Angel. Little G-Unit, I believe that might be four more points. Calls it off. She's, she's calling, she's calling. The Brawl Stars busting through the 200-point barrier. Oh! Well done, Brawl Stars. 202 points, Paradise City 35 points. We have a team timeout 
to the Paradise City Girls. Once again, a big hello to everyone watching us or hearing us or both mm. on DNN. Thank you for joining us. I hope you're enjoying this as much as we are. We're here at the Moray Field Indoor Sports Centre. Ah. Is it Moray Field or... No, oh, no, Moray no, no. Field. This is South Pine, dude. <laughs> I'm off track. Moray Field. <laughs> dude, what we're is it? Call you Moray Mind Field. You, you know, it's inside. It doesn't really make a difference unless you need to drive here. So yeah, I'm going to be busily pimping Junior Roller Derby in Australia. It's a bit of a, I don't uh, think it's being DNN'd. We need some sort of movement to pick up to DNN the I, Junior Derby. I believe, I believe there's some uh, Junior Derby action happening tomorrow. Oh, there certainly is. It's game two for the Digi Dodgers and the Twin Towns Derby Brats. Now, I was there for game one and I was absolutely gobsmacked by these kids. Apart from the fact that the uh, nine-year-olds look like they're about five to me, and they are some feisty, fearless, fearless girls. But they were some smart players too. Future Derby in Australia is looking very bright. If you get the chance, see it if you can. I'll be heading uh, down there tomorrow, checking it out. Meanwhile, oh, Lee Jammer. Oh, iron thighs. Hello, ladies. Iron thighs. Lee Jammer. Oh. Have a look at Ratlin Bones caught up behind Ram Jam and that was Long Lash Massacre. Long Lash. That was the initial she goes iron thigh. She's got a wall of Tony Soprano. She should be calling this off now. She's looking, she's calling. Yes. Four more points to the Northern Brisbane Rollers. We're just about halfway through the second half. <gasps> Speaking of Morrowfield. Thank you, Morrowfield. Morrowfield. Mm. What up, Morrowfield? That's, what where up? that's where Tropic Carnage will be this year. Hello. I was there a couple of weeks ago at the Medieval Tournament. Medieval? Uh. Going all medieval. Uh. Going all medieval on your ass, Pulp Fiction style or not. All right, that was Affliction taking a hit from Popular Pain and just jumping round it. Look at the leaping and the jumping. Do these women understand they're wearing wheels on their feet? Hats off to all the leaping and jumping. I love them. I try that stuff. My wheels oh, come under me. I fall. Oh, there's a oh. friction coming in, getting a hit on Slaggity Ann. Slaggity Ann did well to keep a balance around the outside. Here comes Alice. Affliction just pummels her. Slaggity Ann calls that one off. Yeah, Slaggity Ann saying, you know what? Screw you, hippie. <laughs> Sorry, people. I don't get out much. There's a reason. No one loves a hippie. But some people do. I'm a what tree hugger. Don't take it the wrong way. <laughs> or take it the wrong way. Yeah. I'm not the boss of you. Oh, Rattlin' Bones is back again. Iron Thigh is back again. Children are screaming behind us. I'm finding it slightly distracting. Excuse me. Sweet Fanny Adams is turning around just terrorising these young kids behind us. Meanwhile... Iron Thighs is heading to the sin bin. Oh, oh no! Oh, counter directional. Number cruncher there, patting the cat while Rattlin' Bones is. Oh, damn it, she's caught on Christy Demons. Oh, then we have an out of play call. That was just so borderline. It was just at that moment. Lee Jammer, Rattlin' Bones, 1-1-1. Oh. I like both these ladies. I like Rattlin' Bones. I've seen good things from her. I think she's got potential. I think when she has as much experience under her belt as uh, Chrissy Demons has, that, um, I don't know. Look at this. Bang. Boom. Uh, oh, clear pass. That's as easy as it gets. I don't know. Until now. I think things might be different this time. There's Hell No and there's Annabelle Electra. Are they going to team up and work together? Oh, Paradise City doing a good job distracting them and keeping them apart. Until Annabelle Lecter catches Rattlin' Bones and then Hell No jumps up to help out. Dig in, Bones. Dig in. You can do it. You can do it. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Annabelle I couldn't Lecter. do it. Oh, well done, Bones. Nice block, Annabelle Lecter. Well done, Rattlin' Bones. Oh, and Paradise City have seen. Iron Thighs is coming back. 
Well done, Paradise City, in that last Woo! game, up to 50 points. All right. I got to tell you, to come up against the third, the ranked third team in Australia, yep. in your first ever bout, and score 50 points, that is not shabby. Oh, they'll definitely learn from this experience. Uh, yeah, take it to the next bout, get stronger and stronger, uh -huh. no doubt. But I think that's quite a lot to be proud of right there because these guys have only been together. I know they have bouted elsewhere earlier. They've got bad experience. But still, this is a new league starting out. And they are managing to score points against the third-ranked team in the country. Well done, Alice Affliction taking the lead. James yeah. on the inside. Yeah, go, Alice. Oh, Here's the other jammer, not Lee Jammer, got through the back. Here comes Alice Affliction. She wants those points. Oh, Alice Affliction, it's going to be a close thing. Is she paying attention? Does she know where G-Unit is? Nice block in the front of the pack. Here Damn comes it. little G-Unit. Comes out hard on that bend. Alice Affliction is three for four. She's not calling it off. She's keeping it going. Yeah, Alice wants those points. She's trying to keep the momentum, however, NBR staying at the front. They're keeping their points as far away from Alice Affliction as possible. The blockers have done well there for Paradise City, slowing down that pack. There you go. Alice Affliction takes another two points because she's got one on the track, one in the bin. All right. Annabelle Lecter jamming, I Ooh. believe, for the first time for the Northern Brisbane yeah. Rollers and Brawl Stars. A couple of years back, she was one of the non-stop jammers for Northern Brisbane. She's been used a more, lot more as a blocker in recent times. And we have two of right, right uh, one, 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 Rattling Bones, spots a gap on the outside. I think it's closed up real quick. <laughs> Annabelle gets We have a and cut low. track on Rattling Bones. And a cut track on Annabelle Lecter. She's confused. She's not quite sure what's happened there. So here goes the jammer tag. No jammers on track. Oh, I love the washing off the of speed of before we hit that bin. No taking out of chairs. Why has Bones not been released? Maybe she was, maybe she didn't get it. Two more seconds, there goes Lecter. Paradise City are ready, but can they cope? Jammer alert. Oh, oh. Wow. That was a big hit on the far side. <laughs> Oh, Rattle there is so no hard. pack of any kind on this track right about now. Both jammers had headed to the sin bin earlier, so this jam will be going for the two minutes. Oh, here you go. Lecter is through. Nice blocking in the back of the pack once again. Oh, Cruella to Kell has obviously dropped back to try to help bodyguard. Yep. Rattle bones through. And about Lecter through again. Just sliding through that pack, spotting the gap. Cross track. Oh, there's Sars trying to get in there. We've got Iron Thighs taking Rattlin' Bones to the outside of the track so that she's collected by Christy Demons. Oh, they've actually managed to slow down Annabelle Lecter, but not for long. She digs in, takes that last hit from Tony Soprano and keeps going. Stars Barella heading to the penalty box. Oh. Annabelle wants more points. Oh, Cruella's kill managed to catch Annabelle Lecter on her back for a second there, took her out, but then Cruella fell herself. Holy crap, that was exciting. Oh, we've got an official timeout being called. As I slowly lose my voice. I've been getting over a cold and I'm just too excited by this. I can't stop talking. <laughs> yeah, that loogie's getting around at the moment. Uh, Done well to uh, get through this uh, almost. Thank you. This entire bout. Just have to drop my tone. I have to try to find the depth of voice that you have there, Using Johnny different, Smash. Different uh, areas of your throat, just, uh, mm. yeah, just mm. at a different level. Mm. We have Raw Shark speaking to Alice Affliction. It looks like she's heading to the sin bin. Ooh. Would I be Ooh. right? Would it be right to say that, or am I just making things up? Plucking no, things out uh, of the Okay, block stocking. So he was talking to Alice Affliction oh. as the captain of the team, I'll assume. 
Meanwhile, Lego Shovecraft running around doing uh, track repairs. Once again, a big hello and thank you to our referees and non-scanning officials. Hola. No officials, no derby. No derby. Make me sad. Shark still talking to our captain for our Paradise City, Atlas Affliction. Oh, they're pimping the Tropicana Cup from in the house. Bless you, Johnny Pistol. And KO. Nice work. Keep an eye out on the interwebs, people. Tropic Outage Cup will be coming to you later this year. Yeah, looking forward to the uh, Tropic Outage Cup. Uh, I've, um, I mean to head down to Lowe's and check out some of their uh, new range of shirts, Hawaiian shirts. Oh, uh, and, uh, hello, yes. Flower, anything flowery. Yep, we need a good floral, preferably with maybe, uh, hibiscus. Maybe a lay or two. Oh, who doesn't like a lay? Maybe a double lay this year. <laughs> Oh, Slaggity Ann is through to fighting on the back of Molly Malicious, and there she goes. Alice Affliction having no joy getting past Hell No, Ram Jam, and Massacre. Hell No is taken out at the back of the track there, but uh, she's held up on Long Lash Massacre. Alice Affliction takes some big hits. Here comes Slaggity Ann. Uh, so at the end of her first scoring pass, she's got the five. She doesn't need much of a gap to get through on the inside line. Uh -uh. Five more points. Number cruncher, the inside, a jammer. Oh, Massacre trying to take affliction out. Falls down. Oh, and we have a low block on Alice Affliction. We have a power jam also through the Northern Brisbane Rollers and the mm -hmm. Brawl Stars. He goes like it again again. Raspberry bullet pumping those fists once again. <laughs> All right, you got Sarsaparilla and Death Angel at the front there. Last line of defense against like it again. Pixie block stockings heading to the sin bin. Oh, Sarsaparilla is off to the bin. Now it's just Death Angel. She's keeping the speed going. Not good. Death Angel heading to the sin bin. Five more points, I believe, to Slaggity oh. Ann. That is jam over. Slaggity Ann calling that one off so that they can get a good start to the next jam with only one blocker on the track, or is it two for Paradise City? It's time for Iron Fires to step up to the jam line. Iron Thighs only has two Paradise City blockers to deal with, and one of those blockers is in queue, so she may get sent from the track. Got Tony Soprano, Death Angel, uh, no match for Iron Thighs. It's like every time Iron Thighs jams, she gets the lead jammer on that turn, second yeah. turn. Nicely done once again. Alice Affliction, as you can see, back on track, jamming. Oh, getting in Iron Thigh's way, ruining her line. So Alice Affliction goes blocker for a second there until she's caught up behind a black wall again. Iron Thigh's takes Alice it. Affliction is through the pack. Iron Thigh's took a massive hit there, didn't even budge. Because she can. She's good. She just can. It's that blocking excellence mixed with the jamming excellence. You get the perfect derby player. Five minutes, 30 seconds. Oh, my God. It's gone way too quick, this bout. So has. I've enjoyed myself. That happens in good derby. Time flies. It's a sign of good derby. Oh, Beth is stepping up for a jam. Against Rattling Bones. Oh! Beautiful! 
Beautiful work by the Northern Brisbane pack there to give Beth Adder a clear outside path that she just sprinted through. Ooh. Rattling Bones held up behind Poppy La Payne and Ram Jam there. Thought Not she had a gap, she went for it, but yeah. nope. Poppy La Payne closes that down. Poppy La Payne ahead to the sin bin, however, I believe. Oh, Beth Adder has th gone through on her first scoring pass and is sitting on Rattling Bones so that the pack takes her back in. Annabelle Lecter steps in and takes the uh, Rattling Bones out. Uh -huh. Well done. Very nice work. No pack is called, no one does anything to reform. We're speeding up. Oh, Sarsbrilla, poor lone blocker against Beth Adder. Beth Adder just waiting for that moment. She's waiting for the drift to get the gap, and there she goes. Oh, oh Sarsbrilla, nice work closing that down. All right. Sasparil is doing an awesome job on her own. I think Definitely she's about to go out of play. She's well out of play by now. No pack cord. Five more points. Yeah. Excellent work by Sasparil, though. That was fantastic. A little bit of front row hey. the back of the pack. All right, look at Paradise City keeping this going, but there goes Ram Jam to try to hit down some bodies and get easy points for Beth Adder as she goes through again. That is Jam over Beth Adder calling that one off with just over three minutes left oh on the Derby clock. Oh, my God. Whew. Thank you, video. Show people the clock. Ball Stars, 271, Paradise City, 56. Yes, a team timeout to the Northern Brisbane Rollers. Opportunity for both teams to talk to their coaches ah, and uh, whatnot. We may have an official review. It looks like the captain of the Northern Brisbane Rollers, oh, sorry, alternate. And there comes the captain to join. Having a chat with the uh, head ref, Rorschach. Did you mention earlier, Rorschach, this is his first yeah. time as head referee? For the Brawl Stars, for yeah. Brawl Stars? He's been with Northern Brisbane for quite some time. I, I believe he has refed uh, the Raw Stars, head refed as yep. other parts um, for their in-house teams, the Dynamite Dolls, Love Rockets, etc. But the first time is head ref for the A team, the Brawl Stars. Big shout out to Raw Shark, head referee. A little bit of track repair happening once again. Number 14, Christy's Demons for the Northern Brisbane oh. Rollers, lining oh. up once again. One of your oh. personal favourites. And one yes. of my personal favourites, Alice Affliction. Hell yeah. Lining up for Paradise City. Oh, Christy Demons getting very defensive first off the line. Looking for that gap. That was nice blocking by Beth Adder, but Chrissy Demons lead jammer. Tony Soprato heading to the uh, penalty box. Oh, Alice Affliction facing off against Stein Thighs. Manages to take a hit from Thighs, which is always good. Comes back to hit Christy Demons out. Well done, Alice Affliction keeping a oh, balance. Yeah. Very nice skater to watch. Alice has got her eye on Christy Demons. Iron Thighs coming back to help out. Trying to get uh, Alice Affliction off Christy Demons. Now they've walled up in front of Alice Affliction as there goes Christy Demons. She's waiting for that gap of that call of no pack and she's going to go through. Iron Thighs heading to the sin bin. Five more points to the Northern Brisbane Rollers. <sighs> 
Watch this pack keep moving though. Paradise City are keeping that speed up. Keeping this pack moving, not necessarily the best idea at this point in time. Molly Malicious, cool Ella to kill and Estela Visser out front, speeding mm -hmm. it up. Yep. Well, they do want to stop. Christy Demons for scoring more points. Now Christy Demons has to deal with Alice Affliction again. Where's his pack at? Right. It's on the other side of the track. Oh! Dooley, dooley, big hit. Fabulous. That was Annabelle Lecter on uh, Alice Affliction. Wow. Alice Affliction isn't an easy scatter to knock down. So. Uh uh. Let's glance over to the scoreboard. <gasps> that is uh, jam over. Not much time left. Down to under a minute. 43. 40 seconds. Oh my god. Oh my god. So this is going to be our last jam of the night. I think it will be very, very close. Oh, yeah, 30 seconds now. So who, who, we, who do we have? Slaggity Ann. Yep. Rattling Bones, our last two jammers. And Slaggity Ann. There we go. Little G unit, trauma junk, you know. Hell no for Northern Brisbane. Paradise City have two blockers in the sin bin. Toe Cutter and Death Angel bringing it home. Paradise City. Oh, Toe Cutter. Gorgeous hit, but she's, is she going to go for the low block? Yes, she does. One lap. And we have got... Rattling Bones. Rattling Bones taking out Lee Jammer. She is sitting on Slaggity Ann. What's she going to do? Is she going to try for the hit? She is. I reckon that might be full time. That is full time. Unofficial final. Paradise City 56. The Northern Brisbane Rollers Brawl Stars 281. An impressive display by both teams. And as the crowd swarm the line, we're going to wait for the official word. Are we a video, Bob? You let us know. We wait for the official final. I think we all agree, though, that the winner is Derby. Davina is Derby. The winner is Derby. Big winner. thank you to DNN. Big and thank you to Video Bob. Oh, oh. Love the Video Bob. How good's Video Bob? Awesome. I know there was this one weekend where he couldn't be two places at once, so he just sent a load of his gear to the second place so that he could cover as much Derby in one weekend as possible. Now that is true commitment uh, to uh, DNN and Derby. Hell yeah. A lot of love to Video Bob. A lot of love to these both these teams. The Brawl Stars and Paradise City. Alright, and we have the official final. The Brawl Stars have brought it home. And that is it from us tonight. Oh, I've had a great night. Fantastic. Northern Brisbane Rollers taking this one out. Alright people, I keep an eye out for Tropic Carnage. Look for it on Facebook. I have enjoyed Put the dates that. in your diary. It's going to be DNN. Get something floral. Where's something floral? Floral. Something tropical. Where do you in homage? And we'll catch you next time. See you. I've been Sweet Fanny Adams. I've been Johnny Smash. Signing out. <laughs>